I'm Chanel Greco from Sir Paris, and in this video, I'll show you how to use the spreadsheet service to automate Google Sheets. The spreadsheet service is one of 30 built-in services which are available through Google Apps Script. And these services let us do things like send out bulk email or automate something in Google Sheets or let's say um, create uh, calendar events based on data in a Google Sheets file. The spreadsheet service has a lot of different methods we can use like get range, get values, um, clear content, and many, many more. In order for us to be able to use these methods, we have to start out by using the global spreadsheet app object, uh, which is what you see um, the beginning point of any Google Sheets automation. It usually starts out with spreadsheet app dot and then calling whatever method you need to start accessing. It could be like in this case, get active spreadsheet. Learn how to automate tasks, processes, and data handling in Google Sheets. Head over to courses.saparis.io and check out our Google Sheets automation course. When calling methods um, with these app script services, we can also chain methods. So if we have a look at the code here. We have three separate lines and here I'm getting the range. And then once I have that range, I'm saying on that range, call to get values method. Now I could make this even shorter. Maybe I don't specifically need range anymore. I can chain it and directly do the following. I can say, uh, there you go. I could make this into values and simply omit all of this like so. This is valid code. So what I'm doing here is that I'm chain chaining my methods. So saying when you get that range, take that range and um, apply the get values method. And how do I know how I can chain? So I, the get values has to be uh, executed on a range. So I need to be sure that this is going to give me back uh, a range as um, a data type. Now, the way we know that is by looking up in the references um, spreadsheet app. If you scroll down, these are all of the properties and the methods we which we can apply and have a look at whenever I would perform this method, I will get back a uh, spreadsheet type. So if we have a look over here, um, get range, what will get range give me back? So let's scroll down a bit. Um, as a matter of fact, we have to navigate, click on sheet and then scroll down till you see get range. And then you see that get range, whenever you execute that method on a sheet, it will give you back a range. And if you click on range again, you will see all of the methods that you can apply on range and which was the one that we applied here or that we executed get value. So we should find that somewhere here in the list. If we just scroll down, this is alphabetically ordered. There you go. Get values. You click on that. And then here you have an explanation. And this brings me to the next topic, understanding the documentation of Google Apps Script is crucial because there's not one single human being who wakes up one morning and simply knows how to use the spreadsheet service. That's not the way it works. So whenever you want to automate something in a sheets document, head over to developers.google.com slash apps, uh, app script and have a look at the documentation here. I will also be providing the link in the description below because this is crucial. Um, in understanding how we can use this service, what we can do with it. I'd also like to mention the fact that we have properties available on the different services. One property you might be using in the spreadsheet service would be uh, the border. So the way the border is styled here, we see um, this is taking from the app script documentation. You see how you would get a cell, obviously from a spreadsheet, um, and then you would say cell dot set border, and then you pass in these values here for true, um, meaning for border falls for none and null if you do not want to change it and you could set the border style so that would be the property itself to dashed. 
So if you want to know what for border styles you have, you click here on this um, and it brings you over to this property here. So we have dotted, dashed, solid, solid, medium, solid, thick, and double. And if you want to apply that, here's the explanation on how to do so. Or as you saw here, this might be a bit more of a clearer explanation that you use this method and you leverage the power of the properties on this specific service. Now that you know what the spreadsheet service is and how these services work, why don't you go ahead and check out the other app script videos I have on this channel and maybe give my online course a look on how to automate sheets. And would you mind subscribing to this YouTube channel by hitting the subscribe button below? That's just because I don't want you missing out on any of this video tutorial material that I publish every single week.